Well, there's a lot of differences between the, our, our, our casino and the one in Las Vegas. It looks a lot alike, uh, but you know, there's, there, there's things that make it a lot easier for us as far as you know, there's not as many people walking through. And plus, none of the drinks are real, which makes it a lot less fun. <laughs> a little throwback to 2003 when Josh Duhamel was on the set of his hit TV show, Las Vegas. He's joining us now with a special guest next to him, Josh. Before we get into everything, introduce us to your sleeping baby. Who's that? Get mom. She's, like, she's like a tank. I can hear her. Can you guys hear her? Oh, there she is. Look, Look at her. Oh, she's up now. She's oh, awesome. And she's back. <laughs> yeah, she's. I have a Frenchie that looks just like that. Shout out to Oscar the Frenchie. So you're clearly a man of good taste, Josh. Yes. Nice to see you, by the way. We're always running into each other at the most random places. Fights or games or in the bathroom stall at least a couple times. <laughs> How does that go? <laughs> hey, what's up, Josh? <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's right. That's right. Speaking of which, we just visited nice you uh, on the set of Vegas the, um, on the clip we just came out of before the series premiered back in 2003, man. And I remember that uh, time vividly. It, it just obviously flew by. What do you remember about uh, uh, that time? Well, I don't remember having so few gray hairs. That was a long time ago. That was what, 2003, you said? Yeah. yeah. That was my first, that was really my first job after all my children. I was still very new to this game and uh, yeah, I had a great time. We did that show for five years and that was, that was where I really learned a lot from Jimmy and the rest of that cast and just, yeah. you know, I mean, what a great, what a great way to begin. James Conn, that was James awesome. James Conn, what that. a yeah. ride. Uh, congrats, by the way. I love seeing on Instagram that you got engaged. I congrats. love the message in the bottle. But give Mario and I behind the scenes. What went wrong? Like, how did you coordinate the bottle floating up at the right time? Well, I knew I wanted to use that little, that little sandbar right behind us. I didn't really know how I was going to do it until I got there. And then that morning, it kind of hit me. I was like, you know what? Do you guys have any empty bottles around here and I went and talked to the concierge and so we planned it all out so I was going to you know walk her down there as this thing was floating up and so we walked down there and the, the, the bottle wasn't there so I turned around and made up another story about like you know what let's play some cornhole <laughs> so I got her to play cornhole she's like what are you talking about in heels I don't want to play so I went back got this cornhole thing by the time we got back the bottle was sitting there so I said hey there's a bottle <laughs> or you can conveniently had a police playing message in a bottle yes. on your phone <laughs> as it's played there her dad Jeff actually actually sent us that video right after he found out we got engaged which is pretty Did he? funny Oh, he's, he's got yeah. good taste. He so. does. Josh, <laughs> what makes her the one? You know, she's just a, she's a very sweet girl. We have very similar interests. Uh, we're from North Dakota. We love lake life. She's got a cabin not far from mine. We, we just match. You know, she's an amazing person. Congratulations, my man. And spe speaking of weddings, you star opposite Jennifer Lopez in Shotgun Wedding. I can't wait for that. Which is going to be released uh, a little later this summer. What, what can you tell us about the movie? I had such a blast making this movie. Jennifer is amazing. She's the she's a boss. That girl. She's funny. She's down to earth. She's super talented. And it's heartfelt. It's got all those things that I think uh, make a great summer movie. Josh, nice. now be honest with me. Did you have a man crush on Lenny Kravitz? And how about those abs? Lenny has still got it, man. That yeah. dude is. That dude, well, look at that. He's, that's, that's just insane. not even fair. Here I am, here I am uh, promoting my favorite. Deck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> As you're talking about <laughs> Super Bowl <laughs> food. Is, uh... Well, speaking of those delicious looking snacks right in front of you, it being Super Bowl season, game day isn't complete without the perfect spread of snacks. Tell, uh, tell us about That's your right. partnership with Hell of a Good. So I grew up on this stuff. Chips and dip goes back to my childhood. Hell of a Good dip is is the best dip out there. And, you know, this was a... There's an opportunity for me to, you know, sort of celebrate my love of football and the playoffs and, and all that stuff. And the main reason was they have this thing called the sideline snacker, mm -hmm. which is straight out of Jetsons. It's like the future of, I guess, Super Bowl snacking. I'm not even sure. But they have this thing where on a remote control that you can just bring. To, so you don't have to get up from the couch. Wow. It just comes right to you. Wow. <laughs> You're mad lazy. God bless way. America. That's the best. So America. And so, <laughs> and so, and so you can win one of these things. And part of the reason I did it was hope, hopefully I'm going to get one by doing this. Uh, but it did buy me a hell of a good ring. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I still haven't seen it. It's on its way right now. And I, I, I can't wait to, you know, you know, extend my, my football love. We're coming yeah. over for that. Well, and we, I think we've got your favorite we, here. Tell us it's some cheesy bread and jalapeno poppers. Dang, let's get Is in this here. your go-to, Josh? Oh, come on. Mario, I got this for you, Mario. 
That's funny. This is delish. Is this your go-to? It is. Well, you know, my, my go-to is really chips and dip. Yeah. I got some fancy friends. I got the, you know, the, the buffalo chicken stuffed jalapeno poppers. I've got the football-shaped uh, cheesy bread twist, cheesy bacon bread twists. Yeah. I like it. And, oh. you know, I've got chips and dip for me. I'm a simple dude. I like it. You don't discriminate. I, no. you, you eat it all. Um, I know you played some ball growing up too. Wh who you like? Who you liking in the bowl this year, Josh? Give me your picks. Who ends up there and who takes it all? All right. I think after last, I mean, last weekend was one of the best weekends of football I've ever seen. Hands down, unbelievable. Uh, that Bills Chiefs game was unbelievable. I think the Chiefs are going to have a letdown this week and get beat by the Bengals. I, I really like do. That I think pick. they had. <laughs> I think Joe Burrow goes in there and beats him. And then I think they're going to end up playing, I want to say the Rams. The, the, the Niners scare me because they're just so hard-nosed. But yeah, I think the Rams got so much talent. I think it's going to be Rams, Bengals, and I think the Rams win it. Yeah, LA. I like that Nick Bay, my I'm, high school boy. Like, the, the, the Niners beat them twice this year, so the Rams are due. But they're Josh, due. <laughs> you yeah. played QB in college ever shot at the NFL like was that ever the plan or was that the plan well, yeah that was the plan but then I quickly realized I wasn't nearly good enough look at you that might have <laughs> been high school that's not that's college that is that college you know, you know that was me as a freshman in college at Monmouth State University go Beavers hey Beavers. Uh, <laughs> is your son Axel playing sports is he athletic like you uh he's getting there he doesn't love it like I do yet he's more he loves tinkering he loves making stuff he's a really good little artist. I got him in soccer, got him in basketball. Nice. And uh, I think he'll come around. Oh, and if yeah. not, that's fine too. Totally. Uh, Axel, I think, is uh, the same age as my son, Dominic. He's probably, he's about eight years old, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember. That's a fun age right there, man. Very cool. Why don't we have a play date, Mario? That's what I'm talking about. Nico's hey, I got, my boy into, I got my boy into wrestling and jujitsu. I bet you Axel will love that. We'll talk about that later. He would, actually. That's a good idea. Yeah. Congrats on everything. Yes. And I hope those Super Bowl predictions come through. Yeah. Wait, you won't wait Chipmunk up? I just want to see your little face one more time. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> it's a great name, too. You want a buffalo chicken stuff? <laughs> <laughs>